Hello, today I will introduce you Lighthouse Scanner Pro filter testing equipment. Lighthouse filter testing equipment comes with four pieces. First one is the Lighthouse Solaire 3100 particle counter. This particle counter counts from 0.3 micron up to 10 micron. Same device can be used for filter testing as well as for cleanroom classification. The second unit is the Intelligent Diluter, which is a scanner pro dilution system. This unit connects directly to the particle counter and controls by upstream and downstream measurement thanks to these item number three, which is our filter scanning probe. This filter scanning probe, when the particle counter is connected to the filter scan mode, it takes the control and you can easily switch from upstream to downstream sections. Last piece is our aerosol generator. Different than the photometer aerosol generators, this aerosol generator has a quarter Luskin nozzle in it, and this allows you to consume less aerosols compared to photometers, as well as a small footprint. Let's start setting the system up. First of all, the particle counter requires one sampling tube, which comes together with scan air diluter. This side directly connects into the particle counter when the other side connects behind the diluter. And the second cable comes with the diluter is this PIC connector. This PIC connector allows particle counter to send and receive the data and the controllers so that you will connect one side to the particle counter. Be careful while connecting. Just turn it. You will see that the system will locked. Then you can easily connect this cable. Same thing for the diluter side. First, lock it, then connect. The next cable is the patch cable, comes with the scanner Pro. It has to be connected to the diluter side, to the particle counter inlet, and the other part comes to RJ485 connector. Be careful, you shouldn't connect it to the Ethernet, but it will be connected to RS485. Now, this scanning probe has to be connected into the downstream because you are scanning the downstream side of your filter and this data connector and the power connection is connected in front of the scan air diluter. The next cable is the upstream connector. One side will be connected to the upstream port. Just push it, it will be locked same as the downstream connector. Once it's locked, you don't need to move it, just leave it as it is. And behind the unit, there will be another connection point for the upstream port. In our FFU unit, we have these upstream ports ready. If your system doesn't have any upstream port such this, you need to open it up so that you can take the sample. Next one, is for the aerosol generator. The first connector for aerosol generator is the compressor connection. We have a small compressor unit underneath the system. And the second one, once you have this outlet connected to this quick connector, it will come directly to your fan filter unit inlet. Make sure you select the right point to distribute particles inside your fan filter unit evenly. Now you are ready to turn it on. Click on the solar button. Make sure you click it all the way in. This is not a touch button. That's a push button. Start it. You will see the screen comes up. The power LED comes in and you have this handy unit connected. The power is in, but you will be seeing that the connection, the system connection 
is not ready yet. In order to provide the system connection, just click on this button on top of Solaire. Once you get into the filter scan mode, the system will show you that the upstream and the downstream mode, as well as all menu comes to your handy unit. Now you are ready to scan your filter. Now we are ready to scan our filter. Before we start, one important point that I want to explain to you. These kind of systems, including photometers, are only for installed filter leakage testing. You are not verifying any efficiency of your filter, but you are trying to find any defect or any production failure or any system failure like the side connections, filter media connections, or the uh, gasket media issues so that you will be you will be make sure that your installation is okay and the filter is performing correctly so the system when we turn it on we have to move into scan mode first now we have this upstream scanning menu this upstream scanning menu allows us to collect all the particles that are generated by our aerosol generator to the upstream of the filter. Now I'm scanning it and trying to understand that if the aerosol is enough or not. The system has a smart feature which shows you that if the aerosol is not enough, then the system tells you insufficient challenge, repeat upstream sample. So this is the important part for filter testing because most of the systems, if your challenge is insufficient, you may still start scanning your filter. But thanks to Scanner Pro system, this gives you the feedback of insufficient challenge. Now I need to increase my challenge a little bit. I will retest it. Now, we have both homogeneous and sufficient aerosol through the system. If I checked my NP value, it's still very low. Still, NP2 is okay for starting filter testing, but this is the minimum number. I recommend you to at least increase your aerosol a little bit more so that you can increase your upstream challenge. Let's try it again. Thanks to Scanner Pro, the system scans the homogeneity of the particles that are sampled every second. If it is not homogeneous, then the system gives you an alarm. The sample is not homogeneous. So repeat it again. Now we have a homogeneous and a high count. Now my NP value become 5, which is good to start with. You shouldn't be lower than like 4 and higher than any other numbers but within between these two limits. So 5 NP is a good number to start with. So I'll be start scanning my filter. First of all, I have to enter into this zone so that my particle, my scanner is open to the clean air side. So if you keep it outside of this area, if you start it right away, your device will sample room air, which is not okay for the particle counter and for your test. So keep it inside, in the clean air, put it into the scan mode, and start. Now we will be starting the scanning of our filter surface. If you find any leakage like this while you're scanning, you stop in this area, move slowly, and the slow mode starts and record it. So this leak was recorded into my system. So I can keep running on that way and I can scan all the surface of my filter. Five centimeters per second is the best practice to move. Don't wave around, don't take it in and out. One centimeter away from the HEPA filter and scan it with five centimeters per second. And make sure 
when you move into the next part, there should be a slightly overlap, like one centimeter, half an inch, so that this will allow you to scan within between phases. And once you find any leakage like this, the one we find already, instead of putting the mark into your HEPA filter surface, it's better to make a cross section, mark it here, and the second one mark it this way, so that the cross section will tell you where the leak is. In general, the system when you scan, go down below, if you find any leakage here, put marker number one here, move on. Once you are done, to find the right point, try to scan that way, find the leakage, and put your second marker with the same number into this point, so the cross section will be the point of leakage. Once you find all the points, leakage points, click on this printer mode, take out the sample with the serial number of your device, calibration due date, company, filter, aerosol that you are using, start time, leak alarm level, leak size, your upstream challenge and your end time and your result with the signature of your operator. This is a nice output for each and every HEPA filter so that you will know what happened in the field, when your operators start and when they finished with the upstream value of your testing. Once you're done, you have to stop your aerosol generator first, then the particle counter.